G'day guys, it's Rob from ThroughtLaw.com.au, Australia's fly tying specialist store. Today we're tying the foam film nymph. You can see it here in the vise. It's a great little nymph that I fish when they're uh, before the hatch and the nymphs are in the film but they haven't yet actually started hatching. The fish are just picking them off subsurface. Uh, you tie them nice and small, trail them behind a dry fly and use that dry fly as an indicator as such. If you grease the leader up on these with that and the little foam head they'll sit perfectly in the film and the fish can't say no. So let's get started. We're going to begin with an RX FW560 hook size 14. You can tie it in a 14, 16, 18. They all work depending on what the fish are likely to have for the day then we're going to start off with some camel colored uni six sort thread start that just behind the hook eye and touching wraps down to just short of the bend we'll snip it off then some black wire you can use UTC or Danville's or Uni, it doesn't matter. In a brassy or a smallish size. And we'll take a piece of that and we're just going to tie that in on top of the hook shank so it doesn't add bulk to one side or the other as we tie it up. We're going to cover this up with a taper on the hook shank anyway. Next material is midge flash from Hairline in the root beer colour. Fantastic stuff. This is like the crystal flash but a smaller size. We're going to take four strands of that and tie that in to create both the tail and the legs of the nymph. So we'll leave ourselves a you know, bit more than a hook shank out the back. We'll trim that later on. And then from just behind the hook eye, tie that in and then start wrapping that back down the hook shank. This is going to get in the way up the front here. We don't need all that length. We'll trim it to about, leave about an inch off the front. It gives us enough to work with and it's not going to get in the way. And then once we come down to the bend of the hook here, we just want to start working a taper up the body. We'll start wrapping all the way forward and then wrap back down to about 80% of the way down. Then wrap back up to the top again and back down about 60% then back up to the top back down back up and as you can see as we work our way back and forth we're building that taper up body as we go we don't need to worry about this front section because it's going to be filled by the thorax then we'll take the wire past making sure that it's not capturing those fibers out the back and wrap spaced wraps up the body just to create some segmentation on the body bring that up to where the taper ends trying not to hit the camera on the way through and wrap around the wire front and back and around it one more time and then that'll allow us to just spin that 
around, helicopter it, snap off. That way you don't have to ruin your good scissors cutting that wire. Now, the foam where this nymph gets its name from. We are using hairline thin foam in brown, which is a darker of the brown foams that we stock. We keep another foam in stock here that's a bit lighter. This is sort of the darker, dirtier colour brown and matches the, uh, the camel thread quite nicely. So we're going to place that in that thorax section and just capture the very end of it. And then tie it backwards about a third of the hook shank. Then we're going to take some peacock oil and just select a couple of strands from that pack. It's always easy to do a couple with less wraps than to do one and keep trying to get more wraps in there. So trim the, trim the stubs off, capture that in, bring your thread forward and then we're just going to wrap from the back of the foam that peacock curl forward to just behind the eye of the hook capture that with the thread one wrap behind one in front one behind pull those fibers up and one in front of everything and we can trim that excess peacock curl now to create the legs, we're using the same fibres of this crystal flash, or the midge flash, that we used from the tail at this end. What we're going to do is separate that. There's four fibres, four strands. So I'm going to separate into two lots of two. And then pull that back on a 45 degree and cross your thread diagonally over the peacock curl and then tucking it in at the back of the peacock curl pull the other side back on a 45 degree and cross it forward back up to the hook eye and wrap around the hook eye to secure it if I turn that you'll see that that's pulled those fibers back onto that angle then we can pull that foam forward nice and tight trap that at the hook eye, a couple of wraps, one wrap in front, then trim it nice and close without trimming the thread. Trust me, I've done that a few times. And then grab that little stub, give it a few wraps to capture it. Then with our whip finisher. And a couple of Three point whip finishes, always more than enough to secure it. Trim that off tight. You can, if you really want durability on this fly, we'll do, we'll do it. We'll just add a little touch of head cement from our bodkin onto that thread there. That's not going anywhere now. Then we need to trim off these legs. We're going to trim them to the, just shy of the length of the body. So we'll pull them up together, not stretching them because that'll remove the twist. And then cut them off. So you can see we've got those little legs there. And then the tail, we want about the same length, maybe as the hook shank, maybe a little less than the hook shank. Trim that off flare out and there you have it foam film nymph lovely natural brown look to it from the underside but that little bit of sparkle in the tail and the legs to capture the light fish it in the film before the hatch when you're seeing those fish just sipping and not really putting their snouts out of the water it's a fantastic fly it's caught me plenty of fish when times when I'd rather thrown rocks at the fish because they were so stubborn, this is the one to go to. As usual, all the materials are available from the Trout Law Fly Tying Store. I will put the material list in the description down the 
there beneath this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'm always happy to answer questions. If you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.